Samsung S3 Guru here, and we're building up to James Bond Day, which I believe is September 30th. I want to I wanna get back to that. And we're continuing, as we build up to James Bond Day, we're continuing with my, um, I guess you can't call them reviews anymore. They're sort of a, uh, uh, forays into why I love my Samsung uh, Galaxy S3 and why I use it and how I use it. And today I'm going to talk about how I use it with uh, my Sony smartwatch. And I've done a separate review on the Sony smartwatch, so I'm not going to do too much on the watch. I'm just going to give you a quick overview. If you want to find out about the Sony smartwatch, uh, you can search for uh, that video. If you have, of course, the Samsung S3 Guru app, then the review is right there for you. So, very, very quickly, the Sony Smartwatch retails anywhere between $100 and $150, depending upon who you get it from. Uh, the watch comes with a black band. It also comes with an extra piece, which is what I've used here. And I just went out, I went to my local mall, and I bought this band for 10 bucks, And it works with the piece that they give you. And I just find that a lot easier to use. I think it looks a little bit more stylish than the black uh, band that they give you. Uh, the watch um, charges with a little USB cable uh, on the inside. There's some little pins and you stick it in there and that's how you power it up. And then of course when you want to actually use it and wear it out, you just slip it right on there and you are good to go. So, how do I use it? Well, what happens is, is once you have it, you load on the Sony smartwatch software onto your phone which you can actually download uh direct from the play you can actually go and don't download it now it wouldn't do you any good down at the scene Jason oh, oh, i hit the wrong button that's what happens when you do these things live i try to do them live and uh there we go okay so we got rid of that um so yeah so you can go ahead and you can download the software and uh, let's just go ahead and get right to it. Okay, there we go. So once you download the software, and it comes up and says smartwatch, and then it has um, applications, applications clocks, uh, sort your applications, sort your widgets, uses, and tips. So basically you have applications. Now under applications, if you click on search for applications, it will go to the Google Play Store and show you all the applications that are available. Sony puts out a bunch, and then whatever one Sony doesn't put out, somebody else does. And I think the most I paid was $2. I think most of them are like a dollar or free. So let's just take a look and see what we have right here. All right, first we have Twitter. And Twitter will let you um, view your tweets, and I'll show you how this works in a second. You can view your tweets on your watch. I don't do that. Uh, Facebook, you can see your Facebook status on your watch, and I don't do that either. Uh, the next one is a sports tracker. Um, new events, I, you can use that, and that takes all the new events and puts them in, but I don't like that because there's too many things going on. All right, so what are some of the ones I have? I have a tally counter, um, and the tally counter, I actually um, work at a nightclub. And when I'm at the front door, I have to count how many people are coming in and what's going on. And the tally counter lets me do that. I can just stand there and use my watch for that. And I'll show you how that works. Currency counter, uh, a currency pro. Um, I use that a lot when I'm in Europe. And what that does is that will check and see what the current rate of exchange is. And it actually tells me on my watch so I can look at that pretty quick. Um, it comes with a mail notification, but I had to get a second mail notification because the mail notifier that it comes with only works with Gmail, but there was another mail notification program, and that is actually uh, for my Microsoft Exchange, and that works fine. Messaging is text messaging. They come, it comes with a music player. I replaced that one. I'll show you what happens with that. The calendar will tell you what's going on with the calendar. The fine phone, I think you can figure out what that one is, and it's actually pretty cool. I probably use that like twice a week. I'll show you. I, I'm going to show you how all these work. I just want to show you what's on here. Call handling, how we handle a phone call, missed calls, what we do when we have a missed call. Slideshow will actually show slides. Uh, Viewfinder, that's my little James Bond thing. I'll show you that in a second. Phone book is literally that. It's a phone book, um, and you'll see how that works with it. The wa uh, weather, um, for those of you who are using Google two-step uh, authentication, there's a nice little piece there for you. Another slideshow. 
uh, a webcam viewer and a music control. All right, so let's actually use it. All right, so um, let's do the first thing. Let's actually see what happens when I get a phone call. So what I'm going to do is I'll put this down and I will uh, send myself a phone call from Skype. So now my phone's in my pocket and I get a phone call. Now remember how I use it is I normally have my phone, I normally have a Bluetooth headset, my phone in my pocket and I just have my watch. So let's go from there. So I get a phone call and of course normally on my phone it would show me what was going on. But now I'm going to get uh, the same information. I'm going to actually get, uh, it's going to tell me the name of the person and actually show them if I had a picture of them. It's going to actually show me the person and I have a choice. I can either just silence it and let it ring or I can hang up. I'm going to hang up. Okay. And again, that's pretty decent when it, when the, now if I did want to. Please state your name after the phone. Uh, 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 yes, 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 yes. Okay. Well, it's actually good because we'll get a we'll get another test there in a minute because it's going to send through a message. But anyway, so remember now, if I have my Bluetooth headset on, I could if I decided I was going to take the call, I can just push the button on the Bluetooth headset and take the call. So this way, I don't have to drag up my phone to see who's calling me. I can actually just go ahead and look right on here, and then I can decide if I want to take it. I hit the Bluetooth headset. If I don't want to take it, I can hang up on the person. Okay. So um, you can have it display the time. Sorry to keep going back and forth. Um, vision wise I apologize I'm trying to keep it in one spot but um, so I can see the date and time obviously when I push the button we actually now go into the different applications that I've loaded and the first application as you can see that we've come to or, or they call it a widget is uh, my my email and what I can do is I literally can uh, read oopsie I can literally no, I don't want to do that too soon I can literally read my email so if I tap on that, I can actually go through and read that particular email. Scroll through it, read it. I cannot respond to it, but I can at least see it. And again, a lot of times I might be sitting in a meeting, and this is enough that I can go ahead and see exactly what's going on. Okay? Slide back. Okay, the next one I have is the weather, and that is, as you would expect, it's going to figure out where I am on the GPS on my phone and then tell me where the weather is for where I'm at. I can click on it and I can get uh, a few days forecast and I can go back. Okay. Um, slideshow. It literally will go through my phone and show me the last few pictures uh, that I took a look at. And I actually do use that quite often. I might say, oh yeah, I meant to take a look at something. Uh, and I can literally go through. Now, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead before I bash the competition. We'll continue on here. So then I also have, there's my currency exchange that we talked about, and I can actually go in and look at several different currencies and see what's going on with that. Um, music player. I think it's only fitting that we play a James Bond song. So, so I can actually, oh, sorry about that. The, uh, what just happened is, is I was listening to the radio earlier, so it thinks I want to continue to play the radio, and that's not really what I want to do. Um, let's see. Good. Okay. So we'll go that way. Okay. I can control the volume. Okay. I can pause it. I can start it up. I can go to the next... One, and I don't know if you can see there, it actually gives me a thumbnail uh, of my um, my piece. So I can click the next one. Do, do. Okay, so I can actually... So now imagine if you can do... Let's turn that off. So imagine if you can do all that um, without taking your phone out of your pocket. So you just have your Bluetooth headset on. Uh, and you can go ahead and do all that. All right, so let's see what else we have. So those are sort of the widgets, and then there's some applications that don't run right from here, uh, but we can get at them. So first thing might be messages, and as you can see, I got a little message there from, uh, now this is a text message, and you can reply to a text message, and again, they give you one um, standard message. So I have a choice. I can either view in phone, and if I click on that, 
you can see it brought it up so I don't have to go looking for wherever that message is I can call the sender in which case it goes ahead and calls the sender and again if I had my my Bluetooth headset I could go ahead and do that and then it gives you one reply one generic reply which um, I have in there sorry I'm trying to do six things at once here I have um, my reply says I got your message I'm replying with my watch and can't actually talk to you right now I'll get back to you in a few minutes but I wanted to let you know I did actually just see your message so you can have one sort of generic message in there okay um, viewfinder this is I said this is my James Bond feature so I go ahead and I click on viewfinder so I have my watch and nothing appears to be happening until I pick up my phone and now what it's doing is it's actually showing me what's how cool is that it's actually showing me what's on the view uh, it's actually taking the forward camera or the back camera you can specify which and it's got to show me where that is now some of you might say yeah so like how often does that come in actually I've used it a couple of times uh, one of the things I was trying to do was trying to look into a hole and I couldn't figure out what was going on. So I put on my viewfinder, I took my phone, put it my phone in the hole with the light on, and I could then see exactly what was going on. So I actually uh, have used that. Uh, the find phone, as I said, I use that fairly often. You just go and click on find phone and it will, uh, unless I've turned it off, which I may have done, uh, I probably did because my son is asleep and when my son is asleep i turn all the sound and such off so i guess that doesn't help you if your sound is off but what it'll do is um make your phone ring and make noises provided you haven't put it on silent like i have and then when you find it you oh, there it goes okay nothing breaks up a meeting better than having charlie's angels play so um I must not have pushed it right the first time. Shot once again. Push find phone. Oh, I guess I have to hit the checkbox to start it up. Okay, sorry. So there we go. And then on the phone it says you know find your phone, and then I click it. So I use that fairly often. Uh, the tally counter, as I said, and now I can just sort of as I click on the face of my watch, I have a nice little tally counter there, and that stays there. So if I go off and do something else and then come back, the number stays the same until. Uh, I reset it, and I reset it by putting my finger on it and holding it, and then it kind of whibs and then comes back to zero. Um, the webcam viewer, you can program in one webcam, um, and it will actually give you that. So, for example, I actually have uh, the webcam. I don't know if you can see it that well, uh, but it is the webcam in my son's room. So at any point in time... That's kind of just, and that's actually, li that's live. That little blue dot you're seeing is because I'm out of range. And so what it's doing is it's loading uh, pictures in continuously. And, and every time it skips a frame, it shows me that little blue thing. But this is so when I'm out and about or downstairs or at work and I want to check on them, I can just click on that and I can go ahead and I can see them. And the calendar will actually tell me what my appointments are. My uh, missed calls will actually, again, show me my missed calls and then give me the same things that we had before. Uh, view and phone, call, and then that sort of generic message uh, that we talked about earlier. My phone book is just that. It's whatever phones I happen to have and then my, my uh, whatever my favorites are. So I can say, you know, put my favorites in here. And then when I click on that, I don't think I have any. Oh, I do have some favorites in there. So, for example... Uh, if I was going to call this particular place, I could just go ahead and click on that, and it would give me the you know choice of which number I want to click on, and then I call, click on that, and it goes ahead and it dials the number for me. Okay, so literally I can do all of that uh, without taking my phone out of my pocket. So I can put my my Samsung, my Sammy S3, my trusted Sammy S3 in my pocket, keep this on my wrist and listen to music, make phone calls, answer phone calls, decide what I'm gonna do. I can do all that. Um, and I can do all that for a hundred bucks. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now, there are a couple of other watches that are out there and I, I'm sorry, I have, to, I have to take a swing at what else is out there. The Pebble watch is supposed to be coming out and it doesn't do like a quarter of these things. I don't know why everybody's so excited about that thing. First of all, it's gray 
It's um, an LCD gray screen. It's not color, and it's not going to have all of these cool things. It might have one or two of them, but it, no way is it going to have all these cool things. And then, of course, there's the um, the Italian I'm a Watch or It Watch. Or I'm, I'm I'm not sure which watch. I think it's the I'm Watch, and that's um, I don't know that anybody's actually received an I'm Watch. Uh, I do know that they're taking pre-orders. They've been pre taking pre-orders for two years. So if you have an extra four or five hundred dollars that you want to tie up, please go to iMWatch. Now, if they have actually made one, then I humbly apologize. But to the best of my knowledge, nobody uh, has received an iMWatch at this point. So, all right, Samsung S3 Guru saying this is just yet another way that you can use your Sammy um, again. Now, so now you understand why I'm using my phone 24 hours a day. So how can you go through so many batteries and why are you using your phone all the time? Well, the, you can see. So with this, I can go to a meeting, have my Bluetooth headset on. I can respond to a call. I can look and see when my next appointment is. I can um, check on my son. I can check on a whole bunch of other stuff, and nobody even knows I'm doing it because they think I'm just looking down at my watch. All right, Samsung S3 Guru saying uh, keep those cards and letters coming. Although we don't, you don't really. Nobody's actually sent me a card. They, you actually have sent me an email, but you haven't sent me a card. Uh, but in any event, you, you get what I'm saying. So, uh, and of course, if you have not downloaded the Samsung S3 Guru app, please go to the Google Play Store and download that. At least I feel like um, people are, are paying attention when they download that because we're up to like five or six hundred. Uh, I'm going to have a party when I have the thousandth download. So who knows? Maybe you'll be part of that party. All right. Thank you very much. Ciao.